But say I wanted to go kind of one step above that. Say I wanted to go in for a more targeted or a mass reproduction. Say this thing was uh, 50 to 100 parts and I wanted to go ahead and clone everything at once. Well, there is an application that we can utilize and I don't know how well known it is. So if you go to your start menu and you're using, say, a managed environment, you go to start menu, you look for a solid HPDM client, and within here there's a app shortcut to an application called Structure Editor. And when you launch Structure Editor, it'll have its own session to where you can log into Team Center. And you log in, put your credentials in, and then you're interacting with the database. So this particular instance, say I wanted to go ahead and uh, either clone or make changes to say that particular dump truck, I could use, uh, you know, go into Active Workspace and, you know, use the search I have in there. I capture the part number, the the item number that I had when I was searching through Active Workspace and I did a quick search for the database. So again, using the data that I have available to me. I could quickly go ahead and bring that up into my session here and I could open it up and what it'll do is I'll have uh, two windows or two areas, two workspaces, one on the left, one on the right. And what this allows me to do is to view the assembly and make changes on it on a massive scale or pinpoint narrow down. So up here in my command, my icon bar, I can do a save as on the complete assembly as the way it is right now and clone the entire thing all at once. So I go in and just create a brand new section of, you know, brand new piece parts for all of this. If I wanted to go a little more narrow down, say I wanted to revise some and create copies and clone them, reuse the existing data and automatically have it reset for me for my new session inside of, inside of CAD. I can go ahead and hit this drop down in the action column and what this will do is it will help narrow down and uh, give me particular actions that I can perform on here. So say I wanted to clone this one particular basket part. I could clone it and because it's tied into Solid Edge it's automatically going to find all the linked documents. So since this was an inner part copy made on the assembly level it's going to go ahead and do the same as action for both the assembly and the draft file. So it's something that it did automatically. I didn't have to do any extra work. And if I look over here on the right hand side, you'll notice anywhere where you see a red star, it's requiring input from me, but it's also asking me for a brand new part number or an ID number to give this. So I'm cloning each one of these fairly quickly through this application, respecting all of the uh, CAD linking that's going back to the parts. So say I wanted to go ahead and get the, uh, say I wanted to go into the cab portion, not quite clone this, say I just wanted to go ahead and revise this over to the next revision level. Simply click on that, Team Center will recognize the next rev level available to me and assign that over to me. So in this particular case, the part number didn't change, just the rev level. I can go ahead and run some validations inside of Team Center, I can also hit this Assign All button and it fills in all the extra blanks. So it'll go ahead and give me the next number available in queue. Um, it'll go ahead and fill out all the required uh, fields that I have over there written in red. And when I hit the Perform Actions button, it'll go ahead and start creating my new components inside of uh, Team Center for me. So 002194 will be my new top level assembly and it'll contain my new parts. Uh, when this gets done, you'll actually see the screen kind of change over and you'll see the brand new assembly that I created on the right hand side now appear on the left hand side in my in my session and I could go ahead and clone either the entire assembly again or I could go and revise different components of the assembly. So say I needed to work on a project it was very similar to this one and I needed to duplicate it four or five times this session and window will stay open as long as I need it. So you can see here I've got 002194 ready to go. I could go ahead and start picking it. I can start working with it. So if I switch over back to say my uh, my solid edge session 
the only thing I have to do is you're going to remember the if I remember the part number that it gave me I can go ahead and use that I could also you know navigate over to to my new stuff folder and pick up the latest I know that 94 was the one that it you know it automatically puts in a little shortcut for me there's my assembly draft file too as well so I have opened this one up there will be my new clone and this will be reusing I got a brand new part number on it so I can quickly now get to work because I already did the front end work ahead of time so I know the basket it's gonna be a brand new part you know I went ahead and cloned it out I can make my changes anything that I revised over this is a new revision so say this one had to go in and get some major you know major minor changes depending on what your your uh, your rules are for creating new parts so this particular instance say I go ahead and change the color to quickly identify you know the part as a brand new part and I can go in here and start actually editing this component I say I need to make it just a little longer so you need to add a you know extra capacity to this I could go in and start making the edits and making the changes on this as needed as per the design change for my brand new part so as far as I need to remove and make it smaller I can go and start making those changes let's go ahead and do it by uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and clip it down. Let's move this guy out of the way for All right, there we go. Let's just bring it in just a little bit. Let's go. And you can get a little bit of a view of the scale of this particular component piece. But say we need an extra row of ribs. I can go ahead and start making my change so quickly. Quickly and easily, you know, I went ahead and grabbed my new data that I needed to work with. And I could start manipulating and modifying the components that need to change with it. So I know my top level assembly change. If this guy needed to get revised out, I could revise it out as well. And I could, you know, get along with uh, with my designing at this point. I can go ahead and check everything back in if I needed to. Save it. So that's one of the little tools, one of the little extra tricks of being able to reuse your data fairly quickly. Uh, different applications that we can jump into. So we started off with Active Workspace, went, found our part, went to the structure editor, loaded it up, did our revisions. Another key component that we can do for, say, we're talking about reuse. And that's one that's, you know, everybody has a standard parts library.